This is uh, a series I'm going to be calling Heroes of the Day. The way it's going to work is uh, I'm going to boot up Heroes of the Storm, and the first game I play, whatever day it is, you know, hopefully every day of you know the rest of my life, hopefully, I will have my hero set to random and have the teammates set to adept AI. And I'm just gonna go in, play whatever hero I get. I might be a hero I've played all the time, might be a hero I've never played. Who knows? We'll fuck we'll just go along. And uh well the only people who's gonna know who's who no the only person who's gonna know who I'm gonna be is the audience. So let's go. Alright, so we're on the Sky Temple. Hopefully I get a, a really sh good damage dealer. Let's see, I am... Brightwing! Oh, boy. I prepare for <sighs> battle. If you wish to live, Let's... Go... Yes, I do. We'll go damage. Yes, All right. I will. So the way Brightwing works is, uh, her, she heals people with her passive trait, or uh, when in an area with them. When next to allies who are damaged, or when she is damaged, she will heal every four seconds within that amount of range right there. So within a decent amount of range. Her Q is a uh, AOE shot that I can place on the ground that does good amount of damage. Her W is a point and click, pretty much like a stun. It's a it's called polymorph. It pretty much like stuns them, but they can move around, so it really just disables them. And an E that's a point and click that gives my allies block. So point click, AOE. The gist of it is I just kind of stand next to my allies and heal them by doing so. Give them block counters whenever I can. Try to stay out of combat. You know, try to not die. Not used to top lane uh, on this map. I'm usually mid lane, but I'm supporting this time around. I can cast the E on myself, but for the most part I won't. That's just no need. I just gotta spam my abilities. And I just gotta be the most support like as possible. But of course, that also means that I'm gonna run out of mana super quick, so. Kinda have to deal with it. So I'm working with, like, I think it's a, ma like a master skin Abathur, I think. Not really needed here, but I will stay anyways just for the uh, AoE heals. Brightwing's a super effective healer. Nope. I can use the polymorph to like stop these big bad bosses from using their uh, super powerful abilities. Doesn't affect all bosses, but it's useful nonetheless. Bless. Blah. Can't speak. So. Uh, Polymorph target explodes. So my first talent I went was Arcane Precision. Uh, the inner area, inner circle of Arcane Flare will do 50% more damage. And my second talent was Unstable Anomaly. The target side Polymorph will, at the end of the cast, explode. It, it just means it does a little extra damage. Ow, 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 ow. No bother. No. So it's just a useful thing to, so like, you see, like, someone who's pretty weak, you polymorph from the try and run away, they die. Brightwing's a psychotic dragon. For the most part, that's pretty much what I just call her. The psychotic healing dragon. I am happy to agree. So the gist of this map is, uh, every now and then, 
these temples are going to turn on. When they do, uh, we have to fight the guardians of the temples. Upon their demise, uh, well, as you're destroying them, they will uh, unleash their power on your enemies. Ow. I am happy to agree. I'm gonna go get me some more mana. I'm a little low. I should probably join in in team fights because that's really where I'm best suited. That kill sauce there needs a little assistance. Let's go. I don't like leaving a murky alone, but that's what I can do. Oh, god dang it. Shoot, I'm alone. I gotta go back to the top lane. Or something. Actually, no, kill toss is coming around. Uh, here we go. We'll go with that. This is not my first time playing Brightwing, you know, because obviously when I saw it was Brightwing, I was very disappointed. And Brightwing's not on free week. Uh, Brightwing's, to me, not all that bad, but not all that great. But no. Oh, 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 oh. I really need to be in this fight. You actually don't really realize how badly I need to be in this fight. It's like super important. It's blocks. It's blocks. Polymorph. Oh god. I to just be part team fights. Keep my teammates alive as much as possible. If I die, well, my teammates lose their support. That's not the greatest thing in the world. Well, the enemies are ahead by two kills. That's not all that bad. We can turn it around. Ugh, oh, god dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Spawn into him. No! No, I went to the enemies. Oh, that's so annoying. It's a good thing if we destroy that egg. Die. Oh, I do like no damage. I have no ability power. I have nothing. Weakest little piece of crap in the world. This ult is pretty much it just pushes people enemies away from me. Useful because at the same time it does some decent amount of damage. But really it's just kind of meant for like so many people away. Useful for escaping. Damage count is nice on it. That's why I have to make sure I'm in the back. So weak up to the point I hit like level 13 or something. 16, goddamn. <sighs> but we're tying it. That's some good news. Murky is really our biggest problem. The fact that uh, it takes 4 kills to get full experience on Murky is really annoying.
boy, am I necessary. area where my allies. My AoE heal is gone way up, so you know, much better, much more effective at what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, shield dust, that'll do. Right on top of me, really. But I can't do it alone. I'm just going to go where my allies I are because that's the smartest move I can make. Alone, I am just a piece of crap. But with my team, I can keep them up and they can do a crap ton of damage. Especially since we have Kill Foss. Kill Foss. Kiltos with the chain bomb. He did. Nice. Apparently I missed my polymorph. The sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall burst in my stick with my team. They want to keep pushing, fine. We'll push. That was a kill. Alright, critter eyes will make my polymorphed targets vulnerable. Which is useful, because they'll take increased damage from my allies. And me. But yeah, I don't do much damage, so... Oh boy. Well, we're definitely back in the way now. Uh, probably gonna head towards the, uh... Siege objective. Though it doesn't look like we are. What, what are they doing? What is this edge? What are they going to do? This place is down down down. One of the enemies is brave enough to try this. Or the entire enemy team. Did pull it through. No idea how good. Hey. Okay, too much.
don't really know if my uh, AoE heal affects minions. I know it doesn't activate with injured minions, but I don't know if it's like not affecting my minions at all. Once I finally hit level 16, I'm actually useful. Well, Ow. Don't know how I won, but hey, it's over now. I won. Leave my domain. <sighs> so, I guess this video is going to be called uh, "Brightwing Heroes of the Day." We did do pretty dang good in terms of our healing. <laughs> uh, died once, which is okay. Because honestly, when I saw it was Brightwing, I thought it was, it was game over. I was not expecting a victory. But, uh, you know, I'll take a victory. See you all next time.